the bottom. Ain't no problems, we gon' make a way. Got no coach on the field, but we making plays. Hey, look, don't worry, we gon' be okay. Hey, look, why? Cause we gon' make them pay. We from. Hey, we appreciate everybody tuning in. Be sure to hit the like, subscribe, follow, and let's get to our next game. We have taken on in the Lending Tree Bowl. We have Eastern Michigan. We started off very – well, no, no, I'm chipping. I'm thinking Ohio. Eastern Michigan taking on Liberty. Uh, Liberty does have a solid – a pretty good quarterback that is um, draft. Everybody do, does have his eyes on him potentially drafting it. He's, he's, you know, being coached by one of my favorite coaches, Hugh Freeze. Um, you know, I like his system. Mm-hmm. I like everything that he does. And I can't I like wait till he gets back into a power five school. But Eastern Michigan, the Eagles are seven and five on the year, five and seven against the spread, while the Liberty Flames are seven and five on the year, six and six against the spread. This line opened up in favor of Liberty minus seven. Right now, you can catch a lot of eight and a halves as a consensus. There are some nines out there, too. And the total opened up at 55, 58 and a half. Right now, that line's at 58. There are some 59s also out there. Um, injury reports right now, Eastern Michigan Cannon, the tight end, is out. And as well as Liberty, the kicker, he has left the team, uh, Barbier. Uh, Johnson, defensive end, he's out indefinitely. Wide receiver Lofton's questionable, and cornerback Reese is questionable. Eastern Michigan's last time out, they lost to Central Michigan 31-10, to while Liberty's last out, and they lost to Army 31-16. to Get to these actual factuals for this game. Uh, the total's gone over seven out of the last seven games uh against an independent opponent for Eastern Michigan at 5-0 against spread in the last five games in the month of December. Eight, the overs hit eight out of the last 11 games. Uh, whenever played on a Saturday, they are 5-10 and 10 straight up in the last 15 games when playing as an underdog and 2-5 and five against spread in the last seven games when playing on the road on a Saturday. As for the Flames of Liberty, they're 1-5 against spread in the last six games this year, 14 and six straight up in the last 20 games. They're one and four straight against the spread in the last five games. Two and eight against the spread in the last 10 games against a mid American conference opponent. One and five against the spread in the last six games on a Saturday. And 15 and four straight up in the last 19 games played when playing as a favor. So, Liberty taking on Eastern Michigan. Marley, what's your play? I like um, Eastern Michigan here with the points, coach. Um, one of the MAC teams that we follow. Um, in this conference, Liberty, um, to me, it was a disappointing year, especially based off last year. And like you said, I'm partial to Hugh Freeze, I like Willis, the quarterback, but um, I just like the way these Mac teams play, especially they're used to seeing this type of offense, they're used to being in the shootouts. I'm gonna ride with Bryant as much as I like Willis, I love Willis, but they haven't been able to win games this year, um, especially big games. I love this team. I, something had to happen with their injury report. They, I, I don't know why they lost three straight games with only averaging less than 20 points a game. That's not the Liberty team that I know. So uh, I'm assuming something happened, an injury or something that um, – I didn't follow them a lot this year, but we did follow the MAC in Eastern Michigan. That's too many points for me um, to pass up on. Um, it's not like talent-wise Liberty is blowing Eastern Michigan out of the water. Um, so I'm gonna take Eastern Michigan with the points. Okay. Um uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay off on this game right here. Uh if I were to make a a lean, uh I would probably take Liberty to turn up just based off of whenever Eastern Michigan does go against some teams that do have speed, Central Michigan, i.e. You know, they lost to them 31 to 20, 31 to 10. Ohio, they lost that by eight. Um, now, they did beat some teams that have had some speed, too. Uh, Balls, Ball State by seven, uh, NIU by seven. Uh, I will stay off on this. Two weeks one. to prepare. Liberty, and Liberty is, they got, they've been, I mean, they lost some old miss. The it last lost three losses, though, to Army. me, something had to happen. Like I said, I don't follow them well, like that. Well, what happened was they went against some stiff competition. Ole Miss, <laughs> UL Lafayette champion. It was an Ole Miss Sugar Bowl, UL Lafayette, the winners of the con- uh, Sun Belt Conference, and Army, 30, you know, in, in this Army. You know, so yeah, I'm not going to say that. Be, I give you – you're right. I give you Ole Miss. But UL, 42-14? to 14, 
I mean, they, they, they're one loss team. Army, I know I'm not talking about the loss, it's the way they lost. Like, you lose to Army, okay, 31, but 31 to 16. Hey but, man, when Army get the going, they get the going. I mean, you know, I know we know better than anybody. But. This nigga, Hova. <laughs> this boy Hova funny, dog. What do you say? We gon' make a way, got no coach on the field, but we making plays. Hey, look, don't worry, we gon' be okay. Hey, look why, cause we gon' make them pay. We from